So we get a lot of questions about side height. You know, what size should I go with? How tall, like for the job that I'm doing? And one thing about dump trailers, when you're putting one together for the job you need to do, it's not an, one of those uh, situations where if it fits, it ships. You know, it's not that at all. Dump trailers, uh, just because you can fill it all the way up with, whether it's gravel or, or what have you, it, it doesn't mean that it's okay, right? And so you really be mindful of the, of the type of work you're gonna do. In this case, this is a heavy duty, it's a 20K GVWR trailer. So it's, it's a pretty heavy duty built one. The, the customer went with 32 inch sides and then opted for the board bracket and raised front option. So just to kind of cover it, you can get 24 inch sides, 32 inch sides, or 44 inch sides, and then you can do the raised front and board bracket on any one of those three. So if you are looking to haul a lot of gravel or dirt or heavy concentrated aggregate like that, definitely you can, most times you can live with the lower sides because you, you're not gonna fill it up all the way anyways, because just in this case, I mean, this is this trailer a haul, say it's a you know 10 yard or 12 yard dump body, uh, 12 yards times average of 3,000 pounds a yard, you do the math, that's 36,000 pounds, nowhere near what this trailer's payload is. So, but if you find yourself where you could be crossing over, you're gonna haul some aggregate, but you're also gonna be doing, say, tear outs, uh, renovation projects where you're throwing two buys and insulation and things like that in it that don't weigh a lot, but you need the cubic volume, you can go up in the side height. So in this case, it's a good crossover combination with 32 inch sides and the raised front and board bracket. Kind of touching on this, I like it as it's, I call it cheap insurance because when you're loading over the side with a machine, say you're loading gravel or dirt or whatever in it, you've got this kind of buffer here. You can, if you were to hit this with a bucket, it's not gonna, even if it busts the board, you can replace it versus if you don't do this option and you hit the paint or the powder coat with it and you tear it up, you know, you, you obviously you got a lot more to deal with there. So again, just really do the research or figure out what you're gonna be doing with the trailer and that's gonna help you decide what size sides I need, whether it's standard or taller sides. The last thing to touch on, this trailer has the seven gauge super duty body package. Standard is 10 gauge uh, and it works for the masses, for the general you know, uh, guys who are doing you know, weekend warriors or, or lighter construction, that kind of thing. 10 gauge is great and it's a 10 gauge body, sides and floor. But we have that seven gauge package available. That's for your more extreme jobs whether you're you know, doing concrete demolition, roofing, that kind of stuff, where you're really hard on the flooring and the sides of the trailer, that seven gauge is, you know, so 10 gauge is slightly thicker than eighth inch, seven gauge is equivalent of 3 sixteenths of an inch, and so it's a good bit thicker, gonna last longer. Uh, it's gonna be a, a better long-term investment for you. So the thing to stay away from when you're talking about the thicknesses is make sure you're not buying a trailer with 12 gauge sides. 12 gauge has no place in this class of trailer, but there's manufacturers out there who still build it just to keep that price point a little lower and then uh, prey on those unexpected buyers or un untrained or, or uh, uneducated buyers or first time buyers. So anyways, make sure to, to look out for that.